From LEX 18, your official UK sports station for Big Blue Nation, this is BBN Tonight. Presented by Central Bank, the official bank of UK athletics. Welcome into BBN Tonight. I'm Keith Farmer. And I'm Mary Jo Perino. Tonight, another major shocker for Kentucky women's basketball on its opening day. Yeah, plus UK's offensive coordinator addresses the criticism leveled his way following that Alabama blowout. And we'll also talk football with ex-cat Cash Daniel of the UK Sports Network. Well, UK women's basketball dropped a major bombshell on us this afternoon before the opener with Murray State. And that is tonight's Big Blue Story presented by Baptist Health. Just an hour before tip-off with the Eagles, the program announced that junior superstar Ryan Howard and forward Tatiana Wyatt have been suspended. Howard will sit two games for not upholding the standards of the program and Wyatt is out three games for violating team rules. Mary Jo, I'm not going to speculate on anything, but just a little bit disappointing when you're talking about some upperclassmen making a mistake right before the start of the season. And certainly someone who has been very vocal about her campaign to be the national player of the yeah. year. A lot goes into that. Uh, namely, you want to at least play every single game if you can. Yeah. So um, luckily, the Cats were able to... Um, take care of Murray State, but this is, you know, something that we need to be on the lookout yes. for in the future. Jeez Louise. <laughs> All right, let's turn to football. Eddie Grant is talking about Kentucky's offensive problems in the loss at Alabama. We've talked about the comments made by running back A.J. Rose in response to questions about what the Cats could have done to score more in the red zone against Bama. The senior said they could have called better plays and executed better in the red zone leading some to believe he was calling out his offensive coordinator. Here's what Eddie Grant had to say about it. I went to every position group after the game and said, I got to do better. I'm going to be better play caller. I'm going to, man, you guys keep continuing to grind. That's all he said that, that he said. He said, just coach said that, you know, we got to be better. He's got to be better. And uh, I believe that's just what he was reiterating. I, I, that's what I think, too. I, I don't think he was specifically saying yeah. Eddie Grant needs to do a better job, but they need to execute better. That was that was for certain. And, and especially in a game like that, you, you yeah. can't come away with zero points yeah. on all the mistakes they made, but certainly touchdowns in that point would have helped. All right, Kentucky's offensive line is one of 22 units named to the midseason honor roll for the Joe Moore Award, recognizing the most outstanding offensive line unit in college football second consecutive season that the big blue wall has been named to the honor roll. Mary Jo, obviously a different season because last year it was all run. This year you're getting a mix of the run and pass. Yes, but they're still very effective. They are. And these are still guys that are some going to be playing on Sundays and, a, and all of them are great guys. Yes. Uh, so I'm happy to see the recognition. To the NFL we go. Former UK defensive star Josh Allen will be spending at least a few weeks on the sidelines. The Jaguars defensive end is on injured reserve with a sprained knee. It went down during the third quarter of Jacksonville's loss to the Pittsburgh Steelers on Sunday. Keith, I blame you. <laughs> Being the Steelers fan? Yes. Uh, I had nothing to do with it, but I am glad yes. it's not one of those like we saw with Joe Burrow <sighs> where it's a torn ACL or an MCL or something like that. Does sound like he's not going to be around for the rest of the season, but that's okay. Get healthy, come back strong next year. It's a bad team he's on. And anyway. I was going to say the Jags aren't going yeah. anywhere this year. Exactly. So, yeah. All right, turning to UK basketball, and the university has an update for fans following the postponement of Friday's game with Detroit Mercy because of COVID 19. Season ticket holders will not be able to use those tickets or parking passes to attend the Richmond and Moorhead State game, which has been rescheduled to 6 p.m. on Friday. UK Athletics will honor tickets and parking passes uh, to the rescheduled Kentucky and Detroit Mercy game, whenever that may be. Fans hoping to attend Richmond against Moorhead will still have the opportunity to do so as the game is now ticketed as a separate event. Those went on sale this morning exclusively through Ticketmaster. There's also off the court news for Ray Rock Oliver. The former men's basketball strength and conditioning coach has been named the executive associate athletic director for diversity, equity and inclusion at Kentucky. Meanwhile, Tiffany Hayden has been named the assistant athletics director for diversion 
equity and inclusion. Keith, uh, two great people yeah. moving into these spots. So good to see UK getting out in front of this too yeah. and, and being a leader in this. All right, staying with the SEC hoops, COVID-19 continues to push back Tennessee's 2020 schedule. The volunteers were hoping to be able to play in the Jimmy V Classic in Indianapolis next week, but they have extended their shutdown. Now they're hoping to return to practice December 5th and play their first game against Cincinnati on December 12th. 66-year-old head coach Rick Barnes is among those who have tested positive for coronavirus. He had mild symptoms at last check. Elsewhere in the SEC, let's check in with Auburn. Do we have video of a dumpster <laughs> fire? Uh, they have not had any COVID-19 delays, but they will not be playing any postseason basketball. The team has a self-imposed one-year ban. That's following an investigation into bribery charges against former assistant Chuck Person, who was arrested during the FBI's widespread investigation into college basketball. Keith Auburn did things the wrong way, I'm pretty sure. And, and uh, they should pay the price. Yes, yep. and they've already sat themselves out for that postseason. We'll end the segment with an update on UK Gymnastics. The program announced its schedule, an eight-meet conference only slate this year. Remember, there are only eight SEC schools that have gymnastics. Uh, the Wildcats will compete in four dual meets at home, four on the road with two bye weeks. Kentucky will face every SEC opponent once in addition to its home and away series with Alabama. Season starts January 8th and ends with the SEC championship games currently set to begin on March 20th in New Orleans. Coming up next on BBN Tonight, we'll get back to talking Kentucky football. We're going to catch up with someone who knows a thing or two about beating Florida. It's Cash Daniel. He's next.